In this example, I'd like to do a uh, simple 1D case of relative motion. So let's consider we have a moving sidewalk, like something you might uh, find at an airport. And someone can walk on this. We'll say Alice is walking on the sidewalk, and Alice can propel herself at a speed of 3 halves meters per second say 1.5 meters per second. The moving sidewalk moves uh, at a rate of, um, I'm, I'm sorry, let's switch this, switch this around. So the moving sidewalk goes at 1.5 meters per second. Alice moves at 2 meters per second. The moving sidewalk is 40 meters long, and we want to find out how long it takes Alice to walk on the sidewalk going with the moving sidewalk and moving against the moving sidewalk. All right, so let's take a look. If we, let's get a sort of a picture here in and a coordinate system, let's call this positive x, and let's say the sidewalk is, is moving in the positive x direction. So I want to think of sort of our two coordinate systems. We have our sort of our sidewalk coordinate system that is moving along at uh, 1.5 meters per second relative to the ground. And then there's sort of a ground coordinate system that is at rest with the Earth, right? And so if I want to then look at the relative velocities, we have, and we're in one dimension, so the mag the direction of the velocity is determined by the sine. So the velocity, say, of the sidewalk relative to the ground, we say is a positive 1.5 meters per second. Then the velocity of Alice relative to the sidewalk is going to be 2 meters per second. Which brings up an important point, because a lot of times uh, a problem will tell you something about how an object propels itself. It'll say, Alice walks at 2 meters per second, or a plane has a uh, wind speed of 200 miles per hour. And you might wonder, well, do they mean relative to the wind or relative to the ground? If the boat can travel at uh, 20 miles per hour, is that relative to the ground or relative to the water? In most cases, if a problem is going to tell you uh, how an object can propel itself, that number is how fast an object can propel itself relative to the medium it's in or on. So if they say, well, Alice can walk with a speed of 2 meters per second, that's going to be 2 meters per second relative to the surface that she's on. If she's on the moving sidewalk, that's going to be 2 meters per second relative to the moving sidewalk. The boat would be then 20 miles per hour relative to the water or the plane, 200 miles per hour relative to the wind, not relative to the ground. So it's relative to the medium that it's in if it doesn't specify one way or the other if, if it's telling you how an object propels itself. All right, so then we sort of can, can set up our, our general expression for working with uh, relative velocities. We say that then the velocity of uh, Alice relative to the ground, which is what we want, you know, how much this 40 meters is, is measured relative to the ground, then is equal to the velocity of Alice relative to the sidewalk plus the velocity of the sidewalk relative to the ground. We have our our kind of our <laughs> device here where we have these ratios. Uh, Alice relative to the ground, that's all consistent. And so uh, Alice relative to the sidewalk is then 2 plus sidewalk relative to the ground is 1.5. So 3.5 meters per second relative to the ground. Right. And so the total displacement, uh, delta x, is equal to 40 meters, and that's going to be equal to the velocity times the time interval, which is what we're interested in, how long it takes forwards and backwards, and then I can solve that for delta t equals to 11.4 seconds. Okay, so it takes her 11.4 seconds to walk 40 meters along the sidewalk. 
Okay, now we want to go back. Now let's uh, turn it around and go backwards. So in this case, so let's let's keep our coordinate system the same. Alice is now heading the other direction, but the uh, sidewalk coordinate system is still moving in the positive x direction at one point five meters per second, but Alice is moving the other direction at 2 meters per second. So in this case I would say that the velocity of the sidewalk relative to the ground is still 1.5 meters per second, it's in the positive x direction. The velocity of Alice relative to the sidewalk in this case is going to be negative 2 meters per second. If I've defined my positive to be in this direction, uh, the direction the sidewalk's moving, if, if Alice is moving the opposite direction, so that's in the negative x direction. So then, getting sick of yellow, so the velocity of Alice relative to the ground, then velocity of Alice relative to the sidewalk, plus the velocity of the sidewalk relative to the ground, then is negative 2 plus 1.5 negative 0 0.5 meters per second. All right, so then trying to find the time we need the uh, delta, the displacement. Well in this case if Alice starts at 40 it, it is going to end at 0. Delta X is going to be 0 minus 40 which is negative 40 is equal to the speed negative 0 0.5 meters per second times the time interval delta t and so then delta t is 80 seconds. So uh, 11 seconds to go with the uh, belt, the 40 meters, but 80 seconds to come back.